I know next to nothing about grafting, but I've always wanted to learn, and my new friend Merdad is a self-taught expert. <laughs> Would you say? <laughs> if you call it so. <laughs> He's going to take us through um, a test, a test graft, sure. and show us the basics. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay. So, so why do people graft? Uh, basically, there are two reasons. First of all, if you plant a seed, it's going to take about four to five years, sometimes up to seven years, to bear fruit. And also, that fruit is not going to be exactly the same fruit that you desire to get. Secondly, if you graft it, you're going to get exactly the same fruit and within next year, because that branch used to flower and used to bear fruit, so you get fruit next year. I planted those tangerine seeds because the tangerines from my friend's tree were so delicious. But now you're saying I'm not going to, no. 90%, okay. 99% even I can say you're not going to get ta that tangerine. You are going to get a wild type of citrus. The tree of my friend was originally, the rootstock of that tree was from some sour orange sour because orange. it's a stronger it is a stronger root and it lasts oh. longer it survives in different climate oh that is amazing yes. i mean i knew when you go into the nursery you see everything is has a different kind of base but i don't i didn't know why yes they, okay. they are mostly grafted everything you buy from nursery they are grafted okay <laughs> By the way, I gotta oh, mention yeah. that there are several different methods of grafting. There are, okay. you know, grafting, they call it saddleback. Okay. There's a grafting, they call it chip budding. There is uh, another one, which is uh, uh, groove and tongue. But the one I'm gonna be doing today is called cleft, cleft grafting, C-L-E-F-T. Oh. Okay, and you were telling me that you, for this, you have to have a really sharp knife. Definitely, you do have. One of the key to success is a sharp knife. That's, sharp that's knife. my yeah. first problem right there. <laughs> There's nothing sharp in my house. <laughs> well, and you order these specially, and then yes, you sharpen them. Yes, I am a left-handed, so I had to order a left-handed uh, grafting knife. These are called grafting knife, and they wow. are totally different. One side is not sharp at all. It's not been sharpened. But the other side, if you look at it, it's sharpened. So one side is flat, the other side is completely um, shaved off. So basically you're, you're cutting the top. Yes. And not disturbing what's underneath the blade, right? Yes. So and, you're and basically the, the branch you are grafting is consists of wood, cambium, and bark. Okay. So what you need is the cambium. That's the one that connects or grafts to the other species. Ah, uh, so those layers of cambium from both Both should trees. match, match together so they can start, you know, bounding and the, the new branch start getting, you know, nutrient from the rootstock. Ah, and through the cambium. Through the cambium, yes. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> These are the equipment that I use for my grafting. Basically, I have a cutting scissor, I have a saw, I have the grafting knives, the sharpening stone, the green tie tape, and also this is a wax tape for sealing. And at the end, I have a small bottle of uh, alcohol to disinfect all these tools because if they are contaminated, the graft is not gonna take and either bacteria grow or mold or something, so I make sure there is no infection. These are some of the projects that I'm doing, starting from cutting or from seeds to grow for next year. Next year, they're gonna be ready to be grafted. And this is actually the plant that I'm planning to graft today. And this one is already be grafted about a week ago and it's covered for protection to keep the moisture in. Okay, now I'm gonna take it, bring it up to that table. It's easier when it's upright. I planted this seed two years ago. This is an apricot plant and this is the best and right time to graft this uh, because the buds are coming out. These are the twigs that I prepared for grafting. This is coming from a tree that I love the fruits 
and it bears a lot of juicy fruits. So I prepared them and cut them in December and kept them in refrigerator in a zip block to keep the moisture. Mirda, did you do anything special to those branches when you cut them off? No, nothing special. You just cut them, but you gotta make sure that the tree is dormant. So basically at end of the winter, December, when your rootstock start, you know, uh, budding and branching, then you can start grafting, which we're going to do it right now. Can you do this to any kind of a fruit tree? Absolutely, absolutely. Ah. As, as long as the scion, which is these branches and the rootstock are matching, they can do it. Oh, they have From to the, match. the same family, the same family. Oh, okay. So you can't put like an apple on this apricot no, you, tree. No, you, you <laughs> can't, but you can put on uh, probably and most probably you can add any kind of peach or different That's variety, the same you know, the same family, ah, okay? okay? And then when it's on the branch, you have that fruit on that branch? And and then if, if you have another species, you know, you have two different species on one tree. Mm -hmm. You know, you have, for example, you have here plum and you have apricot. The first step is to cut the root stalk. So I am going to cut it right from here. Next step is to make a cut right in the middle of the stem and you go about about an inch you go down. So I'm trying to go slowly because you don't want to go all the way down. So slowly, slowly I'm cutting this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to prepare these twigs to be inserted in that cut. The way I do it is very simple. What you do is you make sure on one side you leave enough bark as you see exactly. See the little bark is left underneath this cambium and the, then the wood. And I'll make sure to cut it to the size which the best size is this. And I'm going to insert this one right in one side and I make sure that the cambium is touching. Now we prepare the second one. All right, and then I'm going to insert this one also at this side. And I make sure that the side, the skin of both sides is matching, okay? Ah, yes. Make sure exactly both are matching. This one is a little bit off, so I'm gonna move it out a little bit. And now, to make sure they stay in the right place, so I normally start from the bottom, wrap it around as strong as possible to make sure th these are done properly, and I make sure these are perfectly aligned, really tight, as tight as you can, to make sure there's no gap between these two cambium, and then I'm gonna make a knot. Some people don't, they do a different knot, but this is what I do, and it's worked for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal it with the wax tape. And the best thing to do this one quickly because you don't want to lose any moisture. The whole issue of the grafting is not just making sure that these are connected properly, but you got to make sure that there is no moisture loss in your plant. This time now I'm going to cover the entire face of the wood to make sure that is covered and no moisture is going to escape. We're done. The only thing I need to do is make sure this is stay in the shade, no sun. And after about 10 days to 15 days, when the, the growth is start growing, I'm gonna take all these wax and the wrapping tape off, and it's gonna be ready to go. Also to make sure that, you know, there is uh, not that much of sun, even a little bit, I'm gonna cut these corners. By doing this, the sun is not gonna hit this plant, and also there's an air circulation. Mirdad has assured me that this tangerine tree I grew from seed two years ago I planted it is not going to produce sweet beautiful fruit 
So we're going to graft it, but a different technique, chip budding. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some part of this tree and then replace it with part of the other one that I have. So you're just taking a wedge? Yes, a chip out of it. If this graft takes place, it's going to be perfect. You're going to have fruit. Yeah, I don't have too much of time. We got to do okay. it fast and quick. Okay. Because we can't leave that one exposed for a long period of time. So I got to make sure this is almost the same. A little bit longer. So I am going to cut the extra piece. I think we matched it. This time only seal it. That's all I need to do. Just want to make sure it's in the right place. Yeah, we're done. The bad news is I got to cut most of these branches and give a chance for the bud to start growing and have more power and more juice just concentrated to that little piece that we just grafted. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one from here. Also, I am going to take this one out. I am going to take this one out. And the reason I'm just leaving little branch here, they call it nursing branch. That branch is going to communicate with the root and make sure that all the juice and nutrient is growing to get to this leaf. But before they get here, they're going to pass through this little bud. As you see, this is the tip of a bud right here at this spot. Mm -hmm. And as soon as this one starts growing, give it a little bit of time. It grows about one or two inches. Then it's time to cut entire branch right above it. So from here up is going to be cut and this is going to be a new branch is going to moving up and the same year or the next year is just going to, you know, uh, flower and bear fruit. You're going to be watching this spot there. It's going to grow out and then it's going to go up. It's not going to go like this. Oh, it's just okay. going to grow the same as it was on that tree. We'll see. <laughs> if, if it works, can I bring my other one over? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. As many as you want. This is a graft that I didn't take place. So, so as a result, this is a callus. Okay, so this is what m my tree will look like if it doesn't work. Yes. Well, thank you so much. This has been a real education. My pleasure. And my pleasure. And if you have any questions that we didn't cover, please leave a comment in the section below and give me a thumbs up on the video and please share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to have some tea, some Persian tea. Yes. Yay. Yes, definitely. <laughs> we're going to go from behind. So if even if it's take, not take, if it is taken by any chance, I'm not going to disturb it. What do you think? Yeah, it's not taken, unfortunately. It's moving, the graft is not taken. Oh. And actually I see some little insects in there. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. I see that too. Yeah, so basically what we need to do is just let this one grow and maybe we can graft right here. Okay. Uh, next year or, you know, maybe somewhere down here, but this is not taken at Okay. All. See how black is this one? Oh, it shouldn't be black at all. So something went wrong. Probably some kind of mold or bacteria got in there. It's still alive. We can try again. Yep, the tree is alive, and we can graft right here or a little bit lower or right here too. There are three points that we can graft again. 
but it is very healthy citrus plant and uh, hopefully another time we can take care of it. <laughs>